What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Joe Simon. It's like diamonds. Got my bro Luke here. We're on a flat. We got some blackout chum, and we're gonna try to get some bait here. Even though it's cold, you see we got our jackets on. It's still technically winter time, and we're gonna try to bring up some predator fish, which is a kind of a, a second cool benefit of this blackout chum powder. It's things like trout and mackerel, even some snapper will come up to the boat because it's, I mean, you're just kind of bringing life around you. Yep. So uh, we're gonna see what happens here. So talk about this, and Luke got a little overly excited and destroyed the entire bag. Yeah, this is one of our demo <laughs> bags, so your, yours will be nicer. It'll have uh, it'll have one of those zippers where you can just, you know, you can seal it. Like a can, Ziploc bag. Yeah, because this is dry chum. The cool thing about it, we've, we've tested out a lot of chum. This has been the, this has been the best overall. It's, it's dry, so it can store for a long time. You don't have to use it right away. Um, it, and it just flat out works, yeah. most importantly. And so we're out here now, we'll show a demo. We've never done a podcast on just start to finish on Chummy, so we thought let's just go ahead and do it. And yep. the, the conditions didn't turn out as good as we thought. Cold front just came through. You'll probably hear the wind in our mics. Yeah, not good <laughs> for getting baits on the flat, basically, but I only have my, uh, my eight foot net ready. So we're on the flats and we're gonna put this Chum out and just show you how it works. And we probably won't catch, uh, probably will surely catch pinfish. Pinfish love it. White bait loves it as well. The white bait is probably pushed off the flats today. So I can't guarantee white bait. There will be some pinfish yep. and, and they'll then, be here soon. And then I, we flip the coin, I get the awesome job of trying to catch some fish around here because we did this uh, kind of the same area a little bit further over there with Shauna, my little nine-year-old daughter, uh, just a couple weeks ago. Same deal, like we had our full on ski clothes on. It was freezing out and we used the chum. We brought the fish up. Caught some bait, which you know kids love playing with bait in the live well, and just caught a ton of trout, and even had a couple of mackerel come by, uh, you know, because it once again it just kind of brings life right up to your boat. So uh, I love this stuff. I'm pumped for you guys to start using it as, uh, as well for right now, just because we can only get this in limited batches. It is for insider members only. It might stay that way forever, but uh, man, this stuff just flat out works yeah and so and so i'll show you how it works and what i like to do when i first start out is just throw some out this is just the dry powder it's on the surface the wind's going to take it around a long ways it's going to bring in some some longer some some fish from a longer longer ways off the pilchers obviously you know this the white bait will hang a lot of times hang up further for, or higher up in the water column ballyhoo will show up and uh and then we'll get a just get a couple more handfuls out so now it's on the surface and that wind is taking it down this grass flat and this is uh, that should help bring in a lot of bait. So uh, another cool thing about this chum, this is one thing that we did just to make it easy, because a lot of people just dump the chum in and then you get it in the bucket and now you have to put some water in and a wave comes in and slashes a bunch of water and now you have way too much. You have a, a lake in there, you don't want that. So what we, what we do that's unique is we provide scoop. And uh, so what we do is I'm gonna use four scoops today. So I'm gonna be a four scoop trip. And, uh, and so I know the ratio of powder to, to, uh, to water with this chum, it's two to one. So for every two scoops of powder, I need one scoop of water. So I believe that was three and here's four. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but this is, this is gonna be the ticket. So we have our powder in there. Let's get a look in there, just straight powder. And what it needs is some water. And so now you don't have to go out and get some fancy uh, Zephyr Hills water or whatever. Just go and and uh, grab it straight from wherever you're fishing. Fancy Zephyr Hills water. <laughs> <laughs> you you are born you are a Polk County boy. Yeah, and um, <laughs> and so now you know you have it's, it looks like there's a little bit of liquid in there, but that's cool because there's a lot of powder. And so what I do is I just mash it up a little bit. Try to get it in the sun so you can see. So just mash it up, and what this is going to do with that ratio, with the proper ratio, is this going to get a, just a nice pasty like, like consistency, where it's not, you know, it's not a, there's not a lake, there's not a, you know floating water in there, there's no puddles, and there's also no just totally dry powder. And as you see, as I'm moving it around, it kind of naturally creates its own little balls. So that's perfect. That's what we want. And so what we do with these little balls is we just throw them right out. Throw them right out to start. Kind of do, do a spread. Right now, there's really not a lot of current. The current's really not all that impressive um, for the day. And like the tide just started coming in, it's supposed to be going that way, and the wind is going against it. So it's the the tide's not doing much. So we're using the wind a lot right now. The wind is just blowing the top column of water, and so we're we're basically relying on that, and it works, right? This this uh, this powder it just it travels a long distance, and uh, and so even though the conditions aren't perfect. I will be shocked if we can't get a pretty good amount of bait relatively fast. 
Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, now we didn't go. And again, as, as Joe mentioned before, we're just going to the, 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 the bait fish are going to show up. They're going to be fired up. That's going to surely activate the trout and mackerel and whatever other fish might be out here. We're already getting some pinfish are nailing. And hopefully we can have a, a nice slam little. Slam shady. Nice little feeding frenzy. Yeah, and it's just right there behind the boat. All those pins are already already there. So before too long. Okay, yeah, they're already there. I see them in the chum slick now. Trout so, will show up. Ooh, I just saw a flash. So I don't know. Ooh. That might have been a white bait. So, uh, so yeah, so I haven't been timing this, but it's probably been like a minute or two since throwing these chum balls out, and there's already a decent amount of fish down there. <laughs> so I like to kind of spread it out at first, and that way you can kind of, you know, as this stuff goes around, it just covers a lot of area. And then after like a minute or two, I'm, I'm throwing the same spot every time. Same spot every time. That way those fish just kind of ball up in one spot. They get comfortable. They feel nice and safe. Ooh. And there we are, Joe's oh. got something on them. Just dropped it. Yes, yeah, so they feel nice and safe right there. The food just keeps coming to them, so they have no reason to leave. And that very well might be the white bait. This water's a little bit murked up with all this wind. Yeah, there's That's a, looking promising. There's a ton of pinfish down there. Holy smokes. Yeah, and so then check this out too. This is just natural. Like I'm not balling this stuff up. It's just with the right consistency of water to powder, it just naturally will just ball up and just toss them out and let so them let them do the work. What I'm seeing here is I'm having some ladyfish come up. Just another fun way. I mean, this is this is basically uniting families. Blackout Chum does, which is our mission here at Salt Strong. I mean, that is so much fun. Yeah, if you're experienced, ladyfish are kind of boring. Uh, it's kind of like, oh man, I you know, you know, I don't want to catch any more ladyfish. But man, for kids, like my two daughters think it is the coolest thing ever that this ladyfish is like tough as can be, and it's essentially like a little small little tarpon. Kids absolutely love it, and uh, ladyfish always seem to come in these chum slicks, and great tarpon bait too for the summer, and uh, and just cut bait for big redfish. Oh. Here we go. Oh man, it's a bunch of ladies. Yeah, I can't tell. This water is a little bit too dark to tell, identify exactly what they are, but it is looking like white bait. And uh, that would be crazy here in the yeah, winter that was time. Definitely not expected, but it's, it's either white bait or it's just a whole lot of pinfish. So I'm going to go ahead and get the live well going because either way, we're about to have some good bait. Yep, so some good news. We were talking with our friends over at Z-Man, boy Daniel Nussbaum, the president there. And they are going to be testing out Slam Shady, you know, because they're, they're obviously uh, doing Slam Shady on now, what, six different molds. We're going to be adding a seventh. Shrimp. Slam Shady Shrimp. So, yes, you're listening to the podcast. You're one of the first to know about it. And uh, we're pumped. It's still going to be another, I don't know, I'm guessing six weeks out. Um, you know, un unfortunately, this whole COVID thing still has everything slowed up. Nothing happens quick like it used to uh, for a million different reasons. But, man, I am so pumped to see the Slam Shady shrimp, especially in their, uh, their cool material. I mean, that's 10X, Elastec Strong, tough to beat it. Speaking of strong power prawn, whoop, still uh, still catching all kinds of fish. I wish we'd get more of that stuff in. That's another one. It has just been so tough to get a lot of these different lures, jig heads, even blackout chum. We're limited on how many we can get. Uh, it's just been frustrating. But good news is, as our boy Justin said, in an email to a member yesterday, he was asking about you know some different rods and reels that we got coming. He's like, we have a metric ton of stuff coming. I, I really, I, I'm pretty certain it's about five hundred thousand dollars worth of like pending orders that we have out there. That is, that is a metric ton of uh, tackle. Now they're hitting right next to the boat. All right, yeah. Uh, so these ladyfish and trout are coming right up here next to the boat now it's, it's getting cast that time oh baby boy so uh if joe was helpful he'd be he'd be taking over chum while i'm doing this but he's, he's probably not he's probably gonna keep fishing all right but i'll, I'll get I'll what get uh you. what i do is a little, even just when you're doing it by yourself just just throw some out and then like i threw some out and then got the live ball going i threw some out now i'm getting the the net cleared um Ooh, that wind is so you don't up. have to have multiple people it is helpful but it's not it's not a requirement 
So I'll get some out there. Cleared the net, get some out, and so I throw them right there. Just throw them every every like 10 seconds or so. So right One now, Mississippi some, two, let's, let's Mississippi. wait on these waves to, uh -huh. no, like directly. It needs to go directly the same exact spot every time. Oh, well, thanks, coach. That's how you do it right there, Code. Oh yeah, there's some bait down yeah, there. Yeah, so that boat, that <laughs> boat wake just knocked us around a little bit. So we needed to just keep our bearings and then just, yeah, we need to get probably five, 10 tosses, bigger, bigger balls and throw it exactly the same spot. Big balls, same spot. Oh yeah. So what are you thinking, man? I'm thinking you're, you're, you're going too far left. Same spot right there. Have you ever, ever dealt with the wind before? Jeez. Whole boat's moving. Sometimes it's better just do it yourself sometimes. You just never know. But there's there's a lot of bait there. So um, even even with Joe's lackluster performance. I'm hearing a lot of should, excuses. Uh, it's just, we should get a lot of bait. A lot of excuses. And uh, yeah, just an important thing too, just to know that every time you're getting bait fish on a clear day like this, the fish can, especially in areas like this where a lot of people are catching bait, the fish get smart, right? They can they can outrun a lot of nets. So it's it's best to do this early in the morning just so you don't have to deal with the uh, sun, helping them see the net. Sometimes you can't do that. And uh, that's why chum is even that much more important. But uh, it'd be cool if there were some cloud cover, I would actually wait. I wait till a cloud is blocking the sun and then throw the net. It doesn't look like we're gonna have that. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna have that today. Three. At least not anytime soon. Thin clouds. So, uh, yes, yeah, so get, a, get a tight ball, like a bigger one, like the size of a golf ball. Yep, yep. And drop it down. I just wanna make sure that I see them. Dude, you gotta go right there. Come on now. See, they're all right there. Get it right there. Dude, further right. Straight, straight, straight up from the boat. Yeah, uh, give me a time, like if we're looking at the clock. N noon. Oh, noon. Okay. That's all you had to say. <laughs> right where all the flashing is. Those are white bait. This is <laughs> this is good bait. Now Joe's got them all over the place, and now we have to wait uh, a little bit longer. Oh, come on. That Cody, have you ever heard this mean excuse? Okay, before? they're, they're in there now. Head. Yep. All right, ready? All you had to say was 12. Remember Hollywood? Straight, straight out of the teaches boat. Teaches all the time. Straight Don't just point and say straight or right. You gotta <laughs> give it time. All right. Now with all my talking trash, I'm gonna throw up right. a, a terrible cast. So all right, ready? Is, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's white bait. If not, this is a bunch of pinfish. All right, well, well you know where to is. cast. Just look for the big old ball, 12 o'clock there, Bob. <laughs> want one more? No, that's good. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Just make sure I see them flashing. I'm gonna give you one more for good luck. Really for good measure. Bring them right up to the boat, baby. Blackout chum. I'm gonna be very surprised. That's gonna be pretty cool if that's, if that's Chum and done. Chum we'll and done. Chum and done. Chum and done. If you are listening. All right, that's- Kids oh, still got it. Wow, kids, kids still, still got, got it. it. He ate some pancakes for breakfast <laughs> with extra syrup. All right, let's so if see you guys are listening and not watching, Luke just threw a brilliant cat. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of shine down. There. Cody, get in here! Are you kidding me? Oh my me? gosh! Yeah, we got white bait. We've Holy got, smoke! We got wintertime white the bait. The middle of winter. Out. Oh my gosh! Gutter jack. <laughs> That's a lot of bait in there. All right, watch, watch out, Cody. Let me. Uh, oh my goodness. Let me get these guys in live well. So that really wasn't that long of. You know, you guys have been watching the whole time from us chumming. But check that. Check out. Get that net right there. That is some really good bait. Excellent, excellent bait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this in the live well. Oh my gosh. Look at that bait, that is amazing. That is white bait. Here doing a podcast on Blackout Chum. Woo, it's still winter time. We got our jackets on. Dude, yeah, that was so we crazy. Are, we Did not set. expect to see that much white bait here though. We are set for bait. Yeah, I, I really have some nice been, pinfish in there as well. I haven't been seeing much white bait on the flats. I just started seeing some. Um, about a couple miles from here the other day. Man, that is cool. All right, that's more than enough. So that's a that's a one and done cast. Perfect. One and done. They call it chum and dumb for a reason. Perfect for winter. We'll let Black a couple of these guys chum. go. Got a couple more there at your feet. Nope. Yeah, All right. Now I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple of fish there, Code. But just so you can see what these guys are, let me get this guy out of here. Nope, he's uh, being difficult. But just so you can see what, yeah, this is a, they're in a tough spot. All right, those will be chummers later. <laughs> but just so you can see uh, what this bait is, I'll just show you a pilchard. So this is 
called White Bay. There's a lot of scale sardines. I guess actually, I believe scale sardines is the probably the proper term, but a lot of people call them white bait. These are excellent, excellent bait fish. This is this is a, an awesome bait. It's more of a summertime thing. Um, they obviously love this chum, as you can see, and, uh, and we had an absolute ton of it. Some of them are really big, but any all these sizes work. Some of these a little bit bigger. Let's see once they once they can start you know going across your hand. That's a really good bait fish. Snook, redfish, trout, everything. Absolutely loves that bait. And so we are, we're, we're, we're loaded. That's more than enough. Now it's time to go fishing. What do you think, Joe? Anything, any luck up there? Well, I just made one cast so far and still really in it. Changed it up to the Slam Shitty Bomber. I know there's got to be some big trout hanging around up there. Dude, that was awesome, man. So now what? What are we going to use all the white bait for? Now it's time to go hit some, hit some of the plastic. We actually probably could just stay right here and I just need to get rigged up for it. We could stay right here and just keep chumming and just have the whole feeding zone. We'll catch a, uh, an absolute boatload of trout. Yeah. Because I know they're here. They're probably just a little bit lethargic and having a nice lively, lively white bait is something they just, they just cannot resist. That was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. So that's how it was done. It's really not that hard. A lot of it's about just getting yourself in a, into a pretty good spot. In this case, it was pretty simple where we knew a cold front came through and we we're on the edge of a channel. And I just used the wind because there's not much current going on. We used the wind, got a lot of chum out there. Those bait fish got into it, came right up to us. One net, one cast, locked and loaded. Chum and done, baby. So it's, uh, so might as well go end it so that we can start waiting uh, Start getting some actual fishing in and see what we can catch. That was fun. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely a shorter podcast, but uh, I mean, no reason to keep casting over and over again. We're going to save some bait for you guys. But definitely pick up your bag, Blackout Chum. Once again, for members only, it is the easiest way and the best way that we have seen to catch bait for inshore saltwater fishing. There's obviously some other chums out there for reef fishing. You know, if you're fishing uh, for, you know, big snapper and 70 feet of water, you're going to use different stuff, obviously. But uh, talk about, too, some of the other properties because you've been freezing this even for putting in pinfish traps now. Yeah, man, there's already a bunch down there. I, just, I, I was just throwing the rest of the chum out. <laughs> there's, there's just as many as we just caught there already. Crazy. Yeah, so this, it just works. I mean, pinfish love it. They're just all pinfish, pilchard, whitebait, all love it. So I've been using um, this, this stuff in pinfish traps. Uh, before I'd always use those chum blocks and the chum blocks were great. I'm not saying the chum blocks don't work, they, they work great, but they're just a mess. And uh, in, in particular, we got this, this new boat uh, recently and in that I was messing with the chum block and you know, when you're dumping the pinfish out, all that, chum, that juice from the chum block is that's really just, just cut up fish and I uh, just chopped up fish and that was just got on the boat and it was, a, it was a nightmare, it was just a huge pain to rub off. It just basically, uh, whatever juices or acids or whatever in those fish just really got on the boat it's amino acids dude. it's amino acids it's science and uh and so what i started doing is just getting this this uh this chum and putting the water in it just like just like normal but but freezing it i put it in the freezer overnight and then i can size it to, to whatever size i want to use and then i put it in a pinfish trap dump it in as normal and by the time i'm picking the trap out all the all the chum has disintegrated and there's pinfish in there so you get the pinfish without the mess. And so now that's my favorite way to go out and catch pinfish. So pinfish without the mess. That yeah. could be another tag line, chum and done. Yeah. But, but most of all, most of all I do this, right? Cause it just, it's so easy. As long as you can throw a cast net fairly well, um, you just go out on the flat. However, yeah, I think you might be able to catch them with a dip net right now. Yeah, they're, Dude, they are they're really thick. thick down there. Cody, come, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you Try to come up here, at least zoom down there. Uh, let me get out of your way as well. Just right in there. Just keep looking for the flash. Did you see can... him? Let's see if we can like just watch yeah, look, right where that is. Just kind of zoom in. We need to get a polarizer oh. for that, but there's a lot. Yeah, I wish if you stick long enough, you'll see them and they're all on the outside now, they're just little flashes. It is crazy. Nuts. Um, that's great news for you, uh, Tampa, because we're in Tampa Bay, if you guys wonder where we are. I mean, great news for Tampa Bay, England. Oh, got one. Got me a fish. Uh, to have, oh, I just lost it. Have that kind of white bait showing up already in, uh, in, in winter. 
pre-spring. So if you're listening to this and it's already mid-March by the time we publish this, we always record these at least a week or so in advance, or most of the time we do. And I um, mean, it's, it's still cold. We had a cold front out. Dude, it was awesome. Yeah, early March and we're getting some good bait. And yeah, as you saw, it's easy. And so, yeah, if, if, if you're a member, highly recommend getting this stuff. It flat out works. And it uh, probably won't last long because uh, I know a lot of members are loving the uh, use live bait and summer's going to be spring and summer right around the corner. And it's going to be, it's going to be a game changer for that season in yep. particular. You will definitely see a lot of blackout chum out there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So, let's Cut. Go fishing. We out. You can, of course, you can find it at fishstrong.com. Members only. Members get 20% off everything in the store. We are just constantly coming up with reasons for you guys to become members and to stay members. Those are our two big goals is how do we get more members and then how do we wow them? How do we continue to serve them, help them become better anglers, save money, and ultimately save time? We also introduce the coaching as well, where every Thursday we get on a live Zoom call and do coaching. Right? You want to get good at anything? Oh man, there's a there's a lot of fish over there in that little hole. So I'm gonna, swiping like crazy. I'm gonna pull off the double leprechaun rig. Oh, and, uh, dude, right, dude, right out there. Let's see what these fish I are. Can't, oh, you see it? Oh yeah. Dang, that was. It looks like a. That might have been mackerel. I think it is mackerel. That got broken off earlier before we started filming, and I think that. Yeah. So the current is. Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. Double it up. Well, that's a nice trout. Oh, I might have. Dang, I think I had two fish on for a second. Did you? Yeah. So See, here, here's what else happens in the aftermath of Chumman is all of a sudden, all this white bait is here. And guess what else shows up? Oh, oops, all sorry there, little buddy. the trout. Mine's bigger. That slam shady. Yeah, Can't so, compete in here. Let me get over here so I can take this off there, Luke. Yeah, so oh, that's we thought the, the podcast was done and it just keeps on going. Yeah, that's the direction that the, uh, that the, the current is slowly moving. And so that's probably why the trout are hanging over there. They're just kind of getting, getting a little bit fired up with all that, uh, all that scent going around in the water. And yeah, it makes for a lot of fun. So this little double leprechaun rig has been a lot of fun. It's, it's basically just two Alabama leprechauns on weighted hooks. And, and the fish are fired, fired up like this, you can sometimes get two in one cast, which is a whole lot of fun. So it's literally just two, two of the leprechauns all fluttering around in the water. It is a. Uh, you did a. Didn't you a do treat. a video post on how to rig it too? Uh, no, I filmed it. I haven't yet. Haven't yet posted. But that'll right by the time this this goes live, it'll be uh, it'll be there. But That's, it just drives uh, me crazy. They oh, oh man, just missed one. It absolutely drives me crazy. You know the the double Alabama leprechaun so deadly it's illegal in pro bass tournaments. Right there in the rules. They actually don't mention the Alabama leprechaun in particular, but yeah, uh, we ended up just kind of looking at some of the rules in these tournaments and, you know, it says at any given time, the angler may only have one lure. So this would count as two. That's why those Alabama rigs are uh, not legal. Let me get over here, Luke, on this side. We'll do one more cast and see if we can go back to back. Man, isn't that crazy? Just a few minutes later, all of a sudden, predator fish. It's yeah. like ringing the dinner bell for them. I think they're on to They hear us. all that white bait. They're just doing some short strikes. Bringing them right up to the boat. Oh, come on, where are they? We get one more cast and we'll end this. But yeah, what I was saying is that we sort of the, the coaching and that has been awesome. So much, it's most fun for everyone and we're all learning stuff. And that's where every Thursday we do an hour Zoom call with our insider members and anybody can get on that wants to. And of course we record them. And, uh, and just coach, share ideas, share what's working. Talk about like get on satellite maps and talk about best type of spots, where to, where to actually fish. You know, spots like, we'll show spots like this, like where we're catching the bait and, and more importantly why and how to recreate it in your backyard. And, yeah, it's uh, all it's all about the type of spot. That's one thing that that uh, we always stress, and it's it's just so true. It's all about the type of spot. The type of spot based on the conditions is always better than a GPS spot, because when the conditions change, those fish move. And if uh, the bank, the biggest mistake that definitely the biggest mistake that we did, and uh, I think the biggest mistake that most anglers do is they just keep going back to the same spots over and over, and uh, because they worked in the past. 
and, uh, and without just factoring in all the different conditions, all the different variables that, that probably made it good. Um, and then once you dial in those variables, then you can, then you can, there's a million spots. You just look for the right type of spot based on conditions and it has a, been a total game changer. And that's why Wyatt, you know, it's this almost kind of part experiment. Wyatt's our full-time fishing coach. He was in the Carolinas and absolutely killing it. He used the same, exact same techniques and the exact same intel that we're teaching. He moved to Texas. I don't know if you guys all heard that or not, but he moved to Texas. On his very first trip, he catches a slam. And he's, I mean, he's killing it out there in a completely different state, whole new area, a place he's never fished before, using these same techniques and tactics that we're teaching every single week. So we're gonna end it there, and uh, we're gonna go catch uh, some bigger fish with some of this live bait that we got. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate you a big time. Oh, oh, do you see that? I got a. Oh man, they're nailing. Yeah, I think they're what onto is us. That? Oh, that's a big old needlefish is what that was. I was like, what has hit me up on top? You guys, thank you so much. Definitely come check us out at saltron.com. Join us in the club if you're not already a member. If you are, we appreciate you big time. And I uh, can't wait to hear what you guys think about this blackout chum. We out. Peace. See ya. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.